everyone. Today I thought I would share with you the process I use for reading my Bible every day. I just really want to encourage everyone to really get into the Word right now and spend some time with Jesus. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the products that I use and how I go about doing it. All right, let's get started. Outside of creating my journal, this is really all I use when I do my Bible reading. So first I have a journal, a Bible, and these are the tools that I use. I really love this. Um, it's by Pintel. When I did precepts, you know, they always talked about this, but it's got like eight colors, I think. And they're like colored pencils and it's for highlighting, you know, they don't bleed through. And like I said, there's eight colors in here and you can re like I've already like you know I replace the colors you can buy those on Amazon when you run out so I really like this a lot I got this pen from I just any pen will work but I just thought this one was cute because it says be still and I got that from Daily Grace Co I'm I bought like a couple pens from them when I bought a book once and I really like it and it's pink now I'm these mid liner mild liners. A lot of people like these, but I think they bleed through, and so I don't really use it a whole lot. That's why I tend to use this Pentel instrument, a, just a regular pencil. And then I use this is from Mr. Pen. I bought this whole set, but you know I just really like these the pinks, and um, these are Bible tabs and. It's like $6.99 and there's like a thousand of them in there or something. So it's like I have plenty of tabs now. So I use that. Okay, so as you know, I'm using, I'm going through this Life Council Bible. It is the CSB. And right now, I just started this reading through the CSB. So um, I'm in Matthew. And I thought this would be a good time because I just finished Matthew and I'm going to start Mark um, tomorrow. And um, so let me see if I can go back and you can see where I've like done some like here. I've done a lot of highlighting because I was just really kind of focusing in on this um, subject of the end times. And um, I just, you know, I used a Bible tab and I just kind of, I used my scissors to cut it to make it look like an arrow. It was just one of these. <laughs> um, let's see if I can find some more. In this one, I'm not highlighting everything. I'm just hiding four specific um, subjects as I find them addressed. So there's not a whole lot of highlighting in this particular in this particular Bible. Um, so, like I said, I've just started this. I've done Paul's epistles and now I'm doing the gospels. Okay, so I just, I have a plan and I read the chapter. I go through this, to, I always, I try to start with a prayer, you know, asking God to open up anything he needs for me to understand. And then I start reading the chapters. And um, this is something our previous pastor at my church hand, had, and um, I use this, I really, it reminded me of um, Rick Warren's The Purpose Driven Life. He had those questions, and so it kind of was like that, oh, you know, but these are a little bit different. So if you want to take a screenshot, there are some questions that you, I just, after you read, you know, just kind of think about these. Um, but like I said, I'm looking for specific thing for specific things. So I read about that. And I look for that, and then I would do my highlighting if I see any. And as I'm reading, I use my journal. So first of all, is this not the cutest? I found that at Barnes and Noble a while back ago. I just love it. Anyways, okay. So um, I this journal started in September. And I thought I'd do a page at the beginning of the month, but I never really like use that very much. So I didn't do that in October. So I went through and I made a box for every day and I put one box or I put two boxes on every page. And I just put like, 
me go to. Like I just put the date, what I was reading, and then any notes that I thought I wanted to pull out, like that I noticed, I would like put in that box. And then um, at the end, I went through and kind of looked like what stood out the most, like what were the common denominators, I guess, and things that I, I did. And so then here is my Fall into the Gospels page. That's what I started in October. And so again, I just did like the date and what I read. And then this month I added a gratitude line and um instead of just so like you know i decorate it with my stickers and i use my markers and it was just this is my creative thing you know like i just i just like doing this so this is what i did i did it all ahead of time and um you know it just took a couple hours to get in here and just have fun with my markers and stuff so that is what i do um, I just go through the, I, I say a prayer asking God for wisdom as I read, for understanding, um, and that he would speak to me on a personal level. And then I read the chapter and as I go through, I just make notes and sometimes I write in my Bible, like you can see that one pin bled through, um, I do like to use my stickers. That's just me. You don't have to have the stickers, you know, but I have like a, a multitude of collected stickers. And I was like, I have to do something with these. They're just sitting there. So that was the reason for starting to use stickers. And uh, I just love them. I love stickers. So anyways, and then um, like back here, like you can see, I'm reading the articles as well, uh, trying to, if they apply to me. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is what it looks like when I was going through the epistles and I just really want to encourage you to hear, to get into your Bible and let God speak to you. These are crazy times and yeah, we need Jesus. So I hope that is encouraging and let me know down below if, um, you need anything to help you getting started in reading your Bible and I'm here and yeah, just let me know. Okay. Bye.